Hi boys and girls, it's Mr. Yates again. We're going to look at long division. We're going to look at a different kind of problem this time. This is when the dividend, yeah, the dividend, the big number that you're dividing, uh, starts with a number that is bigger than your divisor. All right, so let's take a look here. A lot of times you've been seeing problems like this lately, where the first digit of your dividend is bigger than the divisor. So in this case, a five is bigger than a four. That's easy because you've been saying things like, well, I can divide five by four. Four goes into five. There are how many fours in a five? Well, one, right? There's one, four, and a five. And so you would do that. And then you'd say one times four is four. Right? Do your subtraction. Right? Remember, sister helps you subtract. Right? And that's one. Brother says, hey, bring down. Bring down your six to make 16. Okay, and then Rover says, ruff, ruff. start over, right? 16 divided by 4, all right, that would be a 4. 4 times 4 is 16. All right, subtract, you have 0. And we can bring down that 7. 0, 7. And there is 1, 4, and a 7. So 1 times 4 is 4. Subtract, you get 3, all right? And there's your remainder of 3. And no big deal. All right, so that beginning was easy. 5 divided by 4 was 1. But what happens when that first digit is not so big? What if we had 567 again, but this time we're dividing by 6 instead of 4? Well, what you have to do is say, hmm, 5 divided by 6? Can't do it. Sorry. Oh, well. What do you do? Do you put a zero there? There's zero sixes in five. Well, yeah, you could do that, but it's probably easier to do a couple of things. Here's some hints. Number one, get a post-it note or something, some other piece of paper to cover up the rest of the problem. Maybe all of it, except for one digit. And how about the first two digits? Because that's really what we're doing. We're doing we're going to pretend this is a two-digit divided by one-digit problem. And you'll say to yourself, hmm, uh, can five be divided by six? No. So, I'm gonna, you know, I'm going to put a little X there, just a teeny tiny little X to remind me not to write anything above that digit. Okay. So now I'm going to take a look at not just the five, but the five and the six together. And I'm going to think of that as 56. Hmm, how many sixes in 56? Well, let's see, 6 times 6 equals 36. No, I can probably do more than that. 6 times 7, that's 42. Uh, maybe I can get closer. 6 times 8, well, that's 48. I'm getting closer. Uh, 6 times 9, I hope this works. Uh, 54, yeah, that's good. Uh, 6 times 10 would be 60, so that's too much. All right, so um, this is going to be a 9. All right, because 9 times 6 is 54. There are 9 sixes and 56. That's 54. All right, let's subtract time. All right, so divide, dad, 56 divided by 6, 9. Mom says multiply to check, 9 times 6, 54. Sister says subtract, 56 minus 54, that's 2. Now, you might say, hey, I'm done. Nine remainder two. Well, there's just one small problem. Um, we've got another digit out here. And now it's time for the brother to get involved, right? Remember, and brother says, hey, there's something hanging out there. Seven, bring it down. So we bring down that seven. And roof, roof, Rover says, start over. 27 divided by six. Well, let's see, that's pretty easy. We know that five would be too much because five times six is 30. So we're going to say four. Four times six is 24. And when we subtract, sister says subtract there, right? We're going to find out that 27 minus 24 is 3. And guess what? That leaves us with a remainder of 3. So it's the answer here is 94, remainder 3. Okay. Well, I hope that example makes it easy for you. Remember, a couple of tips. Start off with piece of paper or a post-it note that can um, be a help for you in covering up the rest of the problem so you can look at it one or two digits at a time right and maybe put a little x or something over that first digit in the dividend to remind you not to write anything up there okay all right 
Hopefully that clears things up for you. Good luck with your homework. I'll see you tomorrow.